Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Rohit and today we will talk about that AI search setup for the task table. In the last video I talked about that before San Diego release you cannot create or you cannot search incident problem change uh, in your AI search in service portal. Today we will talk about that. How, this is my San Diego uh, instance. In this San Diego instance I will set up that for the task table and I will show you that how you can start searching incident problem change from the AI search in the portal. Before that, if you have not subscribed my channel, please go and subscribe my channel to get this kind of content and hit on the bell icon to get the notification. So without wasting time, let's get started. So as I mentioned in my last video that you cannot set up AI search your demo instance for that you need the customer environment in the customer environment you can only uh, set up the AI search. So if you need any further information I would suggest go and watch my previous video. So first we'll talk about that uh, this AI search this is my AI search and here if I search with the laptop it is uh, I mean it have a uh, lot of benefits it can be auto correct it can show the last search result it it have a lot of features basically and you can see directly you can click the request button so these are the options are available uh, in your uh, case okay so today we'll mostly talk about those one by one um so if you i talk about that uh here uh, if i search with this incident let's copy this incident and search here you can see that you cannot search the incident because the AI search index is only available for catalog item and knowledge article for the timing. We'll add one more uh, tab here for the task. So we'll set up from uh, very scratch one by one. So very first thing is that you have to go back to the AI search module. In this AI search module, you have a very first thing called index source. In this index source, we are able to see that what are the table can be searched in this step in this case. So our case we can search the catalog item, we can search the Nodias article, but these two are not available. It will be available for other uh, application. So we are going to create first index source here, and index whenever you are doing the index source, uh, it the the index source will actually index all the data which is available in your. Uh, table so let's say if you are indexing for the task table so task table have a huge data it will it will take a lot of time to index that task table so we'll say that uh, ticket details so this will be our uh, today topic and here we'll select the source table and our case will select the task table so that we can bring all this task record now here we have to be put the retention policy so we'll select the retention policy for the one year out of box the retention policy here. So we'll select the one year and here you need to define the, um, you know, filter based on that it can be uh, indexed. So we'll select that task type. So these are the table we are going to uh, index or these are the data we are going to be uh, do that. So we'll select the submit. Once you uh, um, the record is created, you can see that index source mark with uh, this icon never been processed fully processed. It means that this table is not indexed. So we'll open that. Inside that, we'll select or we'll uh, define that child table. So we'll click the new. And in this case, our child table is the incident. We'll submit. Like that, we'll do for other rest of. Now our all these, uh, you know, all these data are created. Now what we'll do, we have a options called field setting mapping. We'll do that field setting mapping. In this field setting mapping, we'll click the new. And for source change request, we'll select attribute. In this attribute, we'll uh, select that map to row. And we'll select that number. So basically we are trying to uh, search uh, the based on the number. So we'll define that. Similarly, uh, you need to be do uh, for others. So we did for the change request, we need to be do for um, incident and then request. So we'll select that incident.
for the demo purpose i have uh, done for change request and number uh, so that's it uh, we'll i'm not going to create for the request um, so yeah so we are going to search with the number uh, number field on the incident and change request one once you uh, set up this field setting a mapping it means that we are going to search with the number not the short descriptions you if you want you can add the short descriptions in your case now we'll select that index uh, all table so it will be start indexing that table called incident change request and problem one by one and you can see the history here uh, the starting time uh, when it will be picked or all the everything you will be able to see here meanwhile it is doing the indexing it will take a lot of time what we'll do we'll go and uh, do other setup so we'll go back to that uh, ai search and after indexing this one we'll select create the search sources in the search sources we can put the additional filter so i am going to create that uh, ticket details here called ticket and here index source i will put that the same um, uh, index source that we have created now after that uh, we are going to put additional filter whatever additional filter we are going to put that i will select that active equal to true and save the record so our search sources will be uh, created so let's open that ticket details search sources and right now it is showing 126 record so it means that it can search the 126 record so if i click the preview you will be able to see that 126 record that can be searched in your index i mean that can be searched so this 126 uh, uh, record can be searched so if i group by with the uh, task type so change request incident request these are the record can be searched at that moment now next step is that um once this search sources is done we can define the search profile in this search profile already service now created one search profile called service now portal default search profile in this search profile it have basically uh, two search sources one is the portal catalog another is the service portal knowledge article i am going to add one existing uh, search sources that we have created nothing but here so I am not going to create the search profile, a uh, new search profile. The existing search profile I am going to use, but only in uh, in in this way. So I'll click the link existing here, and here I will select the search sources called ticket details that I have created and submit that. So in this case, this this will have the uh, three record or maybe you can say the three tab, okay. Here it had defined the synonym, stop work, type handling, all those records. I am going to create one uh, genius result here for um, you know um, our case. So I'll create simply create new and link. In this genius result, I'll select that uh, ticket details and I'll replicate the same way it is defined for the service catalog. So I'll copy this one. And here I'll select that always. Here I'll select the search, and here I'll paste that all these uh, only uh, things I'll do that. Here I'll put that um, task table, and this encoded query I'll remove that. And here in the return field I'll select the number and simply submit that one so once your uh, genius record is created you can be able to see this genius record under this um, search profile now next we have to go back to the search application in this search application we will be able to see the search portal default search application so this is the application we are going to use that and in this case i am not going to make any changes right now but you can see the navigation tab it is created automatically created three tabs three tabs is nothing but one was the knowledge another was the catalog item and third is the ticket details after you create the genius result make sure that you click the publish button so sometime what happens you make any changes on to the search profile the state move to the draft state because of any changes and then to make sure that make after make any modification you click the published button the next step is that you have to open the index source that we created at the first very first steps and in these first steps 
you can see uh, we have to check that indexing is completed or not so you can see that the indexing is completed and right now it is showing to that indexed it means that the record are indexed and if you see here the process record is the 49 so it means that 49 record is able to process now if i go back to the incident table and then if i search with this incident number in the our portal so it cannot be i mean i can see that it it's not even showing because if i see here this incident is actually closed we are actually supposed to search all the incident which is in open state actually so actually in the active state so i'll copy this incident number and paste here and click the search now you can see under this all it is showing some record and if i go back to the task it's showing some record and if i click that uh basically it is uh it will be open that particular record let's see so you can see it's uh opening the incident particular incident the only challenge here i can see that it is not showing any incident number or anything here okay uh, so it's just showing that one uh, document signed but it's not showing any title any incident number anything right now we'll do we'll we'll fix that for that what do we have to do we have to go back to the service portal under the service portal you will be able to see that one uh, so this is the, our portal and if i open this um, default portal called sp you can see we have a uh, search result configuration which is the service portal search so this is the uh, the uh, options which help you to show the search result okay so here we have a service portal search we have you can see so which is pointing to the evm definition so in your left navigation if you type that evam you will be able to see a complete module so evm is nothing but entity view action mapper which will show you that how your entity will be show and how the action will be taken care on clicking on that uh, entity so our case this is the entity or evm which is selected we'll open this entity viewer configuration bundle m2m we'll open that one inside that you can see uh, there are many record which is getting created under this 300 it have a catalog item so i'll open this catalog search here so in this evm view configuration you can see this is the evm configuration which is configured for the catalog item we are going to create the similarly on the order of 400 so till now to uh, 300 it was created we are going to create one more content here on the 400 in this case i will select the ticket details here and here we will select the table our case the table is the task table so we will select the task next we have a field what all field we are going to show here so we will select number so i will remove the condition on what all field we are going to show here so we will select the number so these are the field we are going to select and then in this custom field we will copy and paste as per whatever i am seeing here now in the order we will select 500 and save that now here in this view template you can see uh, there are uh, template is available so what i'll do here we will search with the task let's search with the task and see if any of this template is available or not no template is available i am going to create one new template called uh, ticket details and in this template i have to paste some uh, you know uh, template so what how i will get the template i'll go back to the catalog item here and open this template i'll copy this complete code and paste in my template so i'll paste here here what we'll do in this title i'll set the number and summary i'll set the short description and submit and simply save that now under this evm uh, configuration we are going to link the existing one and then select the navigation one so we are going to select the navigation one and submit that our evm configuration is done let's search here and you can see it's showing the incident number and then uh, it short description if you go back to the task it is showing some um, incident number and short description 
So that way you can configure your AI search for task table. That's it for today. Uh, if you have any question, just let me know in my comment section. Thank you very much. Have a great day.